Check out this video on the House of Machismo podcast. It's House of Machismo. All right, here we go. Oh god. All right, here so <laughs> the Vatican, the Vatican City. Yes. Okay, guys, buzzards on the on oh. the thing. It's because you can barely hear mine. This is where you catch up. Buzzards on the on the thing. It's okay. You can hear that. I can. Yeah, hear I it. can okay. hear that shit. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, test your buzzards. Dude, that's loud. See. Maybe I can you hear yours. Ba- maybe you need new batteries. Okay, like this. There, I go. There, <laughs> much better. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck All right, off. here we go. <laughs> Vatican City is ruled by who or what? Is it ruled by a mayor, a prime minister, or a pope? I really don't know who. (laughs) (laughs) Pope. This is going to be hard. It was Chris. (laughs) All right. Pope is correct. Just guess, or you knew that? Jesus. I knew it. Oh, whatever. He's well, white. Me, you never me, hear of the mayor dude, of something? even I, I knew a lot of these answers before I even... It's oh, just, I it's that I'm not, be the last one I know. And I'm not religious either. That's yeah. the last one I probably So me and you are tied? Okay. Yeah. I'm still losing. <laughs> All right. Vatican City came into existence after the Lateran Treaty was signed between Italy and the Holy See. You guys don't even know what that is. All right. What year was this <laughs> treaty signed? Oh, God. Was it 1927? 1829 or 1929? You're not writing down the answers. You're buzzing in. Who's who's the woo 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 woo? All right, what is it? 1929. It is 1929. Oh shit! Oh, wow. <laughs> I wrote down 1829. I said 1829. 1929. Yeah, I know oh, we're I was not right. supposed to write it down. Yeah, don't <laughs> write Your it down. Dumbass was following. My <laughs> yeah. All right. The economy of the Vatican City supported by what? Wheat and barley. Posted stamps in tourist mementos or high taxes on citizens. K Rod. Wheat. That is not correct. Who's that one? Oh, wait. Did you buzz on? No, that's you. Who did the. Me. Okay, Chris. Uh, high taxes on citizens. That is not correct. <laughs> Carlos. The one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the middle is correct. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I forgot the answer. Postage stamps and tourist mementos. That's, what, it was, that's yeah. what their economy is based the on. One that's left. All right. So the Vatican City owns an advanced telescope. It does. I did not know this. Oh. But it owns it and it's located in a state here in the United States. What state is that telescope? Um, what's it called? Uh, where they where they, tell, where, they, where they where they keep where they keep the tele, you know, where they keep the telescope? What's it? What state is it in? Is it in Texas, California, or Arizona? <laughs> Whose is that one? Mine. Okay, what is it? Go uh, Texas. It is not Texas. Stupid Arizona. Arizona. Arizona is correct. Uh, <laughs> it's all because it's all in the open in this. All know, right. So. The <laughs> residents of the Vatican City drink a lot of wine. Mm. How many liters per person per year does each citizen drink? Is it twenty-four liters, thirty-four liters, or fifty-four liters? Who's up? Okay, what? Thirty-four liters. That is not correct. Yes. Fifty-four. It is fifty-four liters. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. I'm like you, no, bitch. Well, it has to be the most, right? Because they drink a lot. It, it could have been tricked, right? No, it could have been a trick. Go. I it thought has about to it, be but the most. all right. Stupid. Let me try it again. <laughs> <laughs> the Vatican City does not grant citizenship based on birth, but rather based on what? In order to become a citizen, what? How do you become a citizen? What is it based on? Circumcised. Is it based on someone <laughs> oh, moving? God. Is it based on someone moving there to live? Is it based on the work or office located in the country, or is it based on being born in Italy? K. Rod. Born in Italy. That is not correct. <laughs> Chris. Based on where you, if you live there. That is not correct. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Not the, right the one that's left. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I don't know. Let me give you the choices. No, no he has to know it. No, that's too easy already. I can still read the choices. Go ahead. Okay, based on someone moving there to live, based on the work or office where it's located in the country, or based on being born in Italy. God. He still doesn't know. This, <laughs> that's sad. The first one. It is not the first okay. one. That's what came No one gets the point. No one gets the point. It was based this on guy. the work and office located this in the country. Sorry. So you, you technically have to have a job there, okay. and the office has to be located in there in God order for you to become a citizen. Yeah. 
All right, people. So this comes to the final clue of this round. This is where those little numbers are we come from. Trying to be posed. What's up with these questions? <laughs> like, are we going there or something? No. All right, guys. We're gonna win tickets to the Vatican. Oh, All right, go no. ahead. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna read you guys a clue. Got it. And you guys are gonna. I don't. I don't want you guys to discuss this, but I want you guys to pick how much. How many points you want to risk? You can risk anywhere from zero, from zero to fifty in five increments. Before I or after. Right now, decide how much but you want. But do we know what the subject is? We can are. Can we know what the subject is? You are. It's going to be in this region of the world. Wait, but how many points I have? I don't think I have fifty. No, what you the can rage. You, you would be negative. Okay. What region is that? You don't Pangea. know what region is that? That's Mexico. <laughs> That's Australia. I know what Australia is, <laughs> but what he was zoomed in on islands. Is that Japan? It's not Japan, no. It's like New Zealand. But this is all the clues I'm going to give you. It's, it's based like, on that region of the like world. It's like New Guinea or something. All right, guys. New Guinea pig. Yeah. So <laughs> decide how much you're going to risk. If it's going to be zero, here. all the way up to 50. But put it aside. There you go. Were we supposed to show? No. Don't show it. Don't expose right. yourself. And so yes. keep your answer secret. Keep it down until I ask. Yes. Okay, so we're writing this then. Correct. Okay, cool. All right. Follow my orders. Before, you know, or it's not you ruin the game and then my attitude just goes. Out the <laughs> yeah. Window. Anyway, okay. All right, guys. So here's the clue. Let's do it. All right. So this is an, it's an island nation that lies on the Ring of Fire. And an area, basically, the Ring of Fire is an area prone to volcanic activity. Archaeologists, archaeological evidence suggests that humans first arrived in this country by island hopping along the Indonesian archipelago, okay, which from Asia about 60,000 years ago. Britain, Germany, Australia, and Japan all occupied areas here until 1975 when, they f when this country finally gained full independence. What's interesting uh, is that around 80% of this country's population reside in rural areas where few or no facilities of modern life no phones no cars no luxury have they not another interesting fact is that the world's most recent cases of cannibalism were reported here and that during the 1960s some of the villages among the four tribe f-o-r-e the special tribe a recent diseased person would be cooked or i'm sorry a recent deceased person would be cooked and consumed. It was actually considered an act of love and grief. Okay, at the at the time, experts suggested that cannibalistic practices led to mad cow-like disease that was causing the death up to two percent of the population. The practice has now led to the Ford tribe developing some sort of genetic resistance to that type of mad cow disease. Is that helping you any? Is it, K Rob? Okay, yeah. I'm just offering some history here. I think that yeah. was actually very uh, factual, there's, yes. interesting. There's a movie off of this. Yeah. And so, before you show your answers, I'd like to see how many, how much you risk. Um, how many points do you Wait, risk? Wait, can you say the first well, couple things you said? Well, okay. So, this is an you island said nation. volcano. Right. It's an island nation along the Ring of Fire. Who occupied it again? It was uh, people from this indigenous, indigenous country. or Not country, but the area. It's like the Indonesian archipelago archipelago is a group of a bunch of islands okay in this region of indonesia okay britain germany and australia and japan were the ones who occupied it and up until 1975 uh they got out of there okay so that this country was able to gain its full independence okay hmm. that's the important stuff the rest of the other stuff was actually kind of interesting about the cannibalism but it's also nice to understand that there are a lot of tribal people who live here. As a matter yeah. of fact, I just know for a fact that it is thought of that this is the first place where tattoos were first started, where people started using tattoos and start you know the whole inking, yeah, you know, yeah. skin and everything. There's some been some questions behind that, but this is this is the region where they okay. believe all that started. Okay, so you're, I just want to see how much how much would you guys risk? But let me go ahead and give you guys the choices. So you have Borneo, Jakarta. Or Papua New Guinea. Your choices are again Borneo, Jakarta, Papua New Guinea. Okay. So before you guys reveal your answers, we're gonna start with Carlos, and I'm gonna want to know how much did you risk. Okay. But say, again, say him again. Borneo, Jakarta. Here's in fact, I'll let you guys hold off on your answers for a second if you want to change it. This is Borneo. Jakarta's in this region here, and this is Papua New Guinea. 
Okay. So, again, Borneo, Jakarta, Papua New Guinea. We're talking about this specific country. All right. So, Carlos, let's begin with how much did you risk? Uh, Ten. So you risk 10. All Ding! right, so then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So you would be down to 40 if you get it wrong or 60 if you get it right. What'd you say? Jakarta. Jakarta is not right. Son of a so bitch. So you're going to be down to 40. <laughs> oh, fuck. Put your right. pen down. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, I mean, he's right, but I mean. Come I mean, you'll easily see where it's a scratch off. I know that, but I also would have been pissed because you didn't cover your marker. That's just me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I Thank you, Chris. It, yes. Thank you, Chris. All right. So you have. Five, five bonus points for me. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> so you have uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So how much did you risk? Yes. You risked 10. And what was your answer? Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Let's see, that is correct. Son of a bitch. That is correct. I don't like this game. K Rod. <laughs> <laughs> what did you risk? How much did you risk? 50. 50. Oh my God. You won. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. He's got poppy. All right. <laughs> what was your answer? I didn't know how to spell it, so I put Papa New. Okay, that's oh, fine. Dude, that's fine. Oh, dude. That's fine. All right. So, Carlos, I'm sorry. I You'll can't. get the home edition. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about all that. Wait, how many points I always do I have? I fucking lose, man. <laughs> well, no, K Rod also loses. All right. I have 90 yeah. something points. Yeah. Damn, well, the dude. points don't matter anymore. You two are going on to the next round. Again, yeah, Carlos, yeah, yeah. As, punish <laughs> as punishment, you have to turn and face the wall. <laughs> and take your shirt off. <laughs> no. Whoa. And we have to pick your back, back knee. Your, your, okay, your that's correct. Cool. Okay. Oh. Sure. Like and subscribe for all my law writers out there. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> that, <one's good. laughs> that was so dumb.